Hey guys, uh, welcome to <clears throat> Differentiation Week 3 Review. As usual, I'm going to have these questions up here guys. These are the questions we're working through today. So, have a look through, see if you can try to do them first, and then I'll go through the answers. Alright, um, starting with question A. So, let's see. With this question, it's um, basically just using chain rule at the moment. So we're going to write this as y dash equals uh, differentiation of tan is 6 squared. So we're going to get 3 6 squared 3x squared minus 3. And then that's multiplied by the differentiation of whatever is inside the bracket here, which is which is 6x. So simplified, our answer is going to be 18x, 6 squared of 3x squared minus 3. Okay, now we look at question B. Question B, um, very easy for people to think, get confused with product rule here so just be careful that it's a function minus a function so there's no product or quotient rule here however you do need to use chain rule for this so but to do that the best thing to do is to write the equation again first so I'm gonna write this as <clears throat> cos x to the power of 3 minus sec x to the power of 2 Okay, so cos x actually differentiates to negative sine x, but before I do that, I need to use it as chain rule. So that means I'm going to have y dash equals 3 times cos x to the power of 2 multiplied by the differentiation of cos x, which happens to be negative sine x minus 2 sec x. To the power of 1 and multiplied by the differentiation of sec x which happens to be sec x tan x so I mean if you if you want to differentiate it you can uh, sorry um, simplify it but I'm just going to leave the answer here guys and as for those of you that do want it simplified, which I know there's a couple of you there. <laughs> so your answer is going to be negative 3 cos squared x sine x minus 2 sec squared x tan x. Okay, next question. Now we've got a quotient rule here. So I am going to write f first, and then I'm going to write g. So I've got f, which is 5e2x minus x, which means f dash is going to equal 5e2x would become 2 multiplied by 5e2x minus 1, and it simplifies to 10e2x minus 1 and as for g g equals to sine x which means g dash equals cos x so putting it all together y dash is equal to f dash g minus g dash f and the whole thing divided by g squared. So I'm going to get 10e2x minus 1. Make sure you put that in a bracket. Multiplied by sine x minus g dash, which is cos x. And f, which is 5e2x minus x and the whole thing divided by g squared which is 
sine x squared. We'll stop with that. Okay, question D. We've got f multiplied by g. So I'm going to work out f first. f is equal to cot x plus x squared. So I've got to use chain rule for this. So f dash equals 2 cot x plus x to the power of 1 multiplied by the differentiation of cot x times x, which is negative cos x squared x plus 1. So basically I've differentiated whatever is inside the bracket into minus cos x squared x plus 1. And as for g, g equals e to the power of 3x, which means g dash equals 3e 3x. And now it's just a matter of putting together folks. So we have got y dash equals f dash g plus g dash f. So f dash is negative 2 cot x plus x multiplied by negative cos x squared x plus 1. So that's f dash multiplied by g, so multiplied by e to the power of 3x plus g dash, which happens to be 3e, 3x, multiplied by f, which is cot x plus x squared. Okay, so I mean with these questions I'd say, you know, just double check that you're doing all the differentiations because it's very easy to forget a, like a little bracket here or forget to differentiate um, this here you know when using chain rule so just be careful with that folks okay next question we have another quotient rule so I've got F and I've got G so F is equal to ln of 4x so F dash equals 1 over 4x multiplied by 4 which equals to 1 over x that's for g g equals sine of ex g dash is equal to cos of ex multiplied by the differentiation of the bracket which is e to the power of x so putting this all together we're going to get y dash is equal to f dash g minus g dash f over g squared. So f dash is 1 over x multiplied by g which is sine e of x minus g dash which is cos e of x multiplied by e of x and multiplied by f which is ln of 4x. And the whole thing is divided by g squared. So sine of e of x squared. And we'll leave the final answer as that. Okay, question f. Question f, there's a couple of ways of doing this. Now you got 1 over sine x. When you see 1 over sine x, you can write that as cos x. And that's multiplied by this ugly looking function, which is sine of x squared to the power of 3 quarters. So we're using product rule for this. So we've got f, we've got g. So f is equal to cos x. So f dash equals negative cos x cot x. And looking at g, g equals sine of x squared to the power of 
3 quarters. So g dash is equal to 3 quarters multiplied by sine of x squared to the power of 3 quarters minus 1 is negative quarter. multiplied by the differentiation of sine x squared which happens to be cos x squared and there's going to be one more thing guys is multiplied by x squared uh, sorry differentiation of x squared which happens to be 2x we just use a different color So as I said, an extremely nasty function. Okay, so putting this all together, we're going to get y dash equals f dash g plus g dash f. So f dash equals negative cos x cot x times g, which happens to be sine of x squared to the power of 3 quarters plus g dash which is you know I'm not going to simplify it guys I'm just going to write it as it is so it's 3 quarters times sine x squared to the power of negative quarter multiplied by cos x squared multiplied by 2x and I've also got to multiply it by f which equals cos x so as I said not a pretty equation okay that's basically it for this session guys uh, if you have any questions pop it in the comments below and thank you for watching that's basically it for uh, this session